February 27, 2019, a day that will always be remembered in Pakistani history as Surprise Day or by the Pakistani favorite. I hope you like the tea. The tea is fantastic. Thank you. Let's move back a little in time and see what led to this moment where a wing commander of the Indian Air Force ended up in the custody of the Pakistani Armed Forces. And Prime Minister Khan gave a very stern warning to India. If you think that you will do any kind of attack, Pakistan will not think about retaliating. Pakistan will retaliate. Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was an unofficial state visit to Pakistan. And a few days before his visit, India staged a false flag in Pulwama, in the occupied territory of Jammu and Kashmir, and like always, blamed it on Pakistan. This false flag was aimed at sabotaging the Saudi Crown Prince's visit to Pakistan and sending a message that Pakistan is not a safe place for Saudi investment. Also, pressurizing the Financial Action Task Force to continue the grey listing of Pakistan. This false flag was also aimed at paving BJP RSS way into the parliament, as the general elections in India were due in two months. In Modi's India, slogans of war hysteria were the perfect smoke screen to deflect attention from the rising unemployment in India and personal corruption charges against the man himself, Narendra Modi, in the Rafael scandal. Pakistanis must die. We want revenge! Soon after the Saudi Crown Prince's visit came to an end, Prime Minister Khan called India's bluff and offered. If you have any actionable intelligence that Pakistan is involved, give us. I guarantee you that we will take action. Fast forward February 26, 2019. Modi regime, drunk on the Hindutva Kool-Aid, decided to attack Pakistan. The Indian Air Force, in the dark of the wee hours, hastily dropped their payload in an open forested area, basically decimating a couple of pine trees with no loss of life or property. This shameful Indian Air Force retreat was forced by the Pakistani Air Force Combat Air Patrol, who intercepted their high-speed activity in various sectors of the LOC and Pakistani border. India continues to claim that in the attack, they killed over 350 terrorists, whereas the very next day, independent observers debunked their claim, a claim that merely is a figment of India's imagination. Yeah, right. Prime Minister Khan, true to his words, the same morning, summoned national security meeting and reiterated Pakistan's stance of a measured and controlled response at a time and place of Pakistan's choosing, a message that was very clearly communicated by then Director General, Inter-Services Public Relations. We will surprise you. Wait for that surprise. The response will be different. The response will come. The very next day of the attack, at 900 hours, February 27, 2019, Pakistani fighter jets rolled down the runway to demonstrate Pakistan's resolve and capability. While the Indian Air Force was expecting Pakistan to attack during the dark of night like they did, instead, Pakistan chose to attack during the light of the day. What ensued soon after was a display of sheer professionalism, brilliance, and intelligence by Pakistan Air Force, the likes of which has never been witnessed on combat field in modern day history. The Pakistani Air Force locked six pre-designated military targets near LOC, but chose not to hit in order to retain the escalation ladder. As you can see, the target designated box shifts away from the intended target in this actual footage. These Pakistan Air Force ground strikes rung alarms on the Indian air defense radars, as Pakistan Air Force took them by absolute surprise that led to total chaos in the Indian camp, resulting in India losing one Su-30, one Mi-17, and one MiG-21, and its dignity. A pilot of downed MiG-21, Wing Commander Abhinandan, ended up in Pakistani territory. After treating him to the world-famous Pakistani hospitality, he was repatriated to India as a gesture of peace and to de-escalate the tension, which was a display of Pakistani magnanimity and aspirations of peace in the region. 
ہندوستان کا پائلٹ ہم نے پکڑا ہوا ہے ہم ایز اے پیس جیسٹر ہم اس کو کل رہا کرنے لگے ہیں ہندوستان کو واپس وائلڈ پاکستان کنٹینیوز ٹو اسٹینڈ آن دا رائٹ سائڈ آف دا ہسٹری a nation of 1.3 billion people is held hostage by a racist, fascist, Hindu supremacist ideology. Is the world going to be a mere spectator?